start off with a formal protest. I should have five to seven minutes to give this evaluation since that speech was supposed to be 12 to 15. <laughs> Second, that was not actually Ramesh because Ramesh, who is a member of our club, has facial hair and that man does not. I know. Uh, <laughs> Ramesh, you're, your speech was about reading out loud. You're supposed to read a story. You're supposed to read something and then talk about it. Your story was a book report that was done by your son about a story. It did not lend itself well to the actual assignment. If you look at the requirements or what the recommendations are for the assignment, it even says, rather than reading an entire book, which really isn't feasible, even in 12 to 15 minutes, is to take a section of it, maybe some critical part of it that leads up to a crisis or a climax of some sort. The book report itself, since most books do end up with a climax of some sort, the book report itself does follow that because you're going to get to the, the ending of the story, what was the climax of the story. But because it's a retelling of the story, it doesn't lend itself as well to being interpreted as, say, even when Bill was doing some of the, the fairy tales where you actually get into the story and you can show emotion and, and talk about, you know, fee fi fo fum and the giant ghosts after him. Along those lines, one of the other requirements for your speech was that it looked spontaneous. Absolutely think so. Did you re read through this book report before reading it here? No? Okay. So, interesting requirement was to make it look spontaneous when you already know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's got to be hard to do. So in, in your case, obviously it was, it was spontaneous, and since it's something that's going to be lengthy, I wouldn't expect anybody, maybe Jim, to be able to get up here and speak for 10 to 15 minutes without looking at anything. So it's definitely something where you're going to have to read from. When it came to the actual reading, the fact that it was an essay didn't lend itself well to some of the things. You did try, though. There was a couple points where there was something serious going on, and you got quiet. So that, was, that part was very, very effective. But there were times when you got loud, but I think you confused the use of volume or that inflection in your voice for passion. It would have been a time where you didn't necessarily need to be, really be loud, but you could have just emphasized it, done a William Shatner impersonation without a white mask. But actually, you know, just got grrr about it. And a couple of times you did that, I don't think it was very effective because it was really sad things. Especially when the lady was having problems during childbirth. You're like, but unfortunately, as opposed, and then you went into something quiet. I think the whole thing, you know, the, the never going to come out, all of that should have been quiet. We should have been on the edge of our seats like, is, is it going to be a problem or not? So, your job of giving the reading was acceptable. The reading itself probably wasn't best suited for what you're trying to do. You, but you did a good job of trying to relay the information that your son was trying to relay in the book. So I'd encourage you to take a look at some of the things that I highlighted in here. And next time you have to do something similar, try and do those things or take that into account when giving that speech. Thank you.